are what the negotiation and the talks between the mediators from one side, the United States and Israel from the other side. They made it clear as well that they are not going to discuss anything that has to do with the negotiation and that they are expecting a clear and tangible outcome for the negotiation that have been taking place between Cairo, Doha from one side and Israel and the United States from the other time. They seem to be reiterating the importance of seeing something tangible happening, seeing schedules, seeing timelines for the realization of the things that were agreed upon by Hamas and by the American administration. In the meantime, they said as long as Israel is not willing to withdraw from Philadelphia corridor, as long as Israel is not willing to withdraw from Nitzarim corridor, there would not be any kind of compromise or agreement which foretells also that things are still not experiencing a breakthrough that would bring about a ceasefire. Many other complicated issues such as the number of Palestinian prisoners, Hamas asks for the release of whom if that deal is going to be done or agreed upon and also the rebuilding of the Gaza Strip and also allowing unlimited number of truckloads into the Gaza Strip for the sake of just starting the rebuilding process without no veto whatsoever from the Israeli side. And I don't think Palestinians are expecting much from that visit. In the last 24 hours, 69 Palestinians were killed. The bombardments are reported in Deir el-Balah area that has been seeing increased the ground an air operation for the Israeli army, targeting houses, targeting infrastructures, targeting agriculture area, and also asking Palestinians to move. Around 100,000 Palestinians were already moving from the eastern parts of the Gaza central area, namely in Deir el balah area. Now people from Al-Maghazi refugee camp, the population of which is around 70,000 with around one or 200,000 more internet displaced people asked to leave the area and also some people in east and north and Nusayrat are, are asked to move so a very large scale displacement wave that we have been seeing in the last few days that is expected to continue and also an increase in the number of Palestinians killed because of the ongoing operations and the targeting in different parts in Rafah, Khan Yunis, Gaza central area and Gaza and the north.